All right, guys, let's talk about lighting today. Lighting is hands down one of the most important elements when it comes to filmmaking or content creation or streaming or really anything that has to do with a camera and a subject. And I'm not just saying this because I'm a film major and my professor constantly crams lighting in my head, but because lighting is one of the most underrated and cheapest upgrades you can do to improve the quality of your content. Nine times out of 10, if you're not happy with the quality of your video, chances are it's probably your lighting and not your camera. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys my current lighting setup. Then I'm going to install a three-point lighting setup with this Ogato key light that I recently bought. And we're going to be comparing the difference between the three different lighting setups and with different equipment. My name is Naveen, and if you enjoy my content, I do stream every Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. PST over at twitch.tv slash Naveen. I hope I see you guys there. But anyways, let's get into the video. So before we get into this quick one-minute lighting breakdown, I just want to say that lighting is subjective. There is no right or wrong way to light a subject, but the point of this video is to educate those that don't have much experience with lighting and want to improve their quality of their content through lighting. So with that being said, one minute breakdown starts now. So most creators would either rock a two point lighting setup or a three point lighting setup. A two point lighting setup consists of your key light and your backlight or some may call it a hair light, while your three point lighting setup would consist of your key light, your hair light slash backlight and a fill light. Your key light acts as a primary source of light and should be your strongest source of light while your fill light is your secondary light and it should fill any gaps that your key light may have missed. And backlight as you can guess is the light that's behind you that separates your subject from the background which in this case would be me from the wall. This current segment that you guys are watching is actually a one point lighting setup where I only have a ring light as my key. Flexi, ring light off. And the reason why I started off using a one point lighting setup is because I wanted to prove that you guys don't need expensive lighting equipment or many lighting equipment to make a good video possible. I think this is a pretty good quality video. Right? Anyways, and now we're gonna throw this Elgato key light air together and set up a two and three point lighting setup. So let's get to unboxing this and setting this thing up. <sighs> we're back. So this segment is a three point lighting now. I have my Elgato key light air set up right here as my key light. I have my ring light over here as my fill light. And I have a backlight over here as my backlight. Off the bat, comparing three point to one point, the biggest difference that I see is the backlight, the usage of the backlight and how it highlights my head like this and my body. I'm personally a huge fan of the look, especially considering the fact that I use like a regular $5 lamp instead of, instead of studio lights or regular lighting equipment. Literally, I got this thing for like $5 at Goodwill. But yeah, this is how a three point lighting setup looks compared to a one point lighting setup. For further demonstration, I'm gonna show you guys clips of how my lighting looks with only my key light, only my fill light and only my backlight so you can see what each light is doing. So this segment is only my Elgato key light air with my ring light off and my backlight off. You can see my key light does a good job of lighting this part of my face, but not necessarily this part of my face as it's a little bit darker. This clip is with my fill light on, which is my ring light. You can see the fill light doing its job by barely filling in the gaps of what the key light wouldn't get. And the parts of my face that is dark and isn't lit up would usually be filled with my key light. Bear with me on this one but this is how it looks with only my backlight on. You can see what this light does by lighting up the back of my head and my hair outlining my body, separating it from my wall. So you have your key light, you have your fill light, and you have your backlight. When you save up over time and have three pieces of lighting equipment, you get a look similar like this. But for the time being, if you only have two pieces of equipment and you wanna rock two point lighting, you would get a look similar to this. This look is solely through the Elgato key light air and my back lamp light. At the end of the day, like I mentioned earlier, lighting is subjective. It doesn't matter if you're rocking two point lighting or three point lighting or even one point lighting, as long as you enjoy the look and as long as you like the look, then that's all that matters. But anyways, that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this useful. If you guys did, make sure you guys hit that like button and do all that cool stuff because feedback is always appreciated. And if you guys know anyone that would probably benefit from this video, feel free to send it their way because it does help out both parties. Again, my name is Naveen. I do stream on Twitch every Monday to Friday from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. PST, twitch.tv slash Naveen. I hope I see you guys there, and I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Naveen signing out, and as always, have a great day. Peace. I, uh, there, that, thank you, Siana. I the, I like oh my like, oh, god, yeah, shots were so shot. good right there. Dude, that was crazy. Oh my god.